you may have heard of ceramides as a type of fat molecules that are good for your skin but did you know that they can also affect your blood sugar level and insulin sensitivity in this video i will explain what ceramides are how they link to diabetes and how you can lower them to prevent or manage this condition let's get started ceramides are a type of fat molecules that are found in the outer layer of your skin as well as in some foods and supplements they have several roles in maintaining your skin health and preventing diseases for example they help form a protective barrier on your skin that prevents water loss and keeps out harmful substances such as bacteria viruses allergens and pollutants they also help regulate production of oil and sebum on your skin which can affect acne and inflammation they can also improve the appearance of aging skin by reducing wrinkles sagging and discoloration they do this by increasing the hydration and elasticity of your skin however ceramides can also have negative effects on your blood sugar levels and insulin sensitivity which can lead to diabetes and its complications Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects your body's ability to use glucose as a source of energy. It can cause serious complications such as heart disease, kidney failure, nerve damage and vision loss. So how do ceramides link to diabetes? Well, there are four main ways. First, Ceramides can interfere with the insulin signaling pathway which is responsible for regulating the uptake and metabolism of glucose in your cells. When ceramides accumulate in your tissues they can block the activation of key proteins such as insulin receptor substrate and AKT that mediate the effects of insulin. This can result in insulin resistance meaning that your cells do not respond properly to insulin and cannot use glucose efficiently. This leads to high blood sugar levels and increased risk of diabetes. Second, ceramides can also induce the death of pancreatic beta cells which are the cells that produce and secrete insulin. Ceramides can trigger various mechanisms of cell death such as activating the extrinsic apoptotic pathway releasing cytochrome C from mitochondria generating free radicals inducing endoplasmic reticulum stress and inhibiting AKT This can reduce the amount of insulin available to regulate your blood sugar levels and cause type 1 and type 2 diabetes Third, ceramides can also affect the expressions of insulin gene which encodes the precursor of insulin. Ceramides can suppress the transcription of the insulin gene by interfering with the binding of transcription factors such as PDX1 and MAFA to the promoter region of the gene this can decrease the synthesis of insulin and impair its secretion from beta cells fourth ceramides can also contribute to the development of diabetes complications such as cardiovascular disease nephropathy neuropathy and retinopathy ceramides can cause inflammation oxidative stress endothelial dysfunction vascular smooth muscle cell proliferation fibrosis and apoptosis in various tissues and organs these processes can damage your heart blood vessels kidneys nerves and eyes and increase your morbidity and mortality from diabetes As you can see ceramides are closely linked to diabetes and its adverse outcomes. Therefore, 
it is important to maintain healthy levels of ceramides in your body and prevent their accumulation in your tissues how can you do that well there are some lifestyle changes that you can make to lower your ceramides levels and prevent or manage diabetes here are some tips based on the latest scientific evidence lose extra weight being overweight or obese increases your risk of developing diabetes Losing even a small amount of weight can lower your blood sugar levels and improve your insulin sensitivity. Aim to lose at least 7% to 10% of your body weight if you have pre-diabetes. You can achieve this by reducing your calorie intake and increasing your physical activity. Be more physically active. Exercise can help you burn calories, lower your blood sugar and boost your insulin sensitivity. It can also improve your cardiovascular health, lower your blood pressure and reduce your stress levels. Aim for at least 2 hours of moderate to vigorous aerobic exercise per week such as brisk walking, jogging, cycling or swimming. You should also do some resistance training at least twice a week such as lifting weights, doing yoga or doing calisthenics. Try to limit your sedentary time by breaking up long periods of sitting with some light activity every 30 minutes. Eat healthy plant foods. Plants provide vitamins minerals and carbohydrates in your diet carbohydrates include sugars and starches which are the main sources of energy for your body and fiber which helps regulate your digestion and blood sugar levels you should eat more fiber rich foods such as whole grains fruits vegetables beans nuts and seeds These foods can help you feel full longer, prevent overeating and lower your cholesterol levels. You should also limit intake of added sugars and processed foods such as refined grains, sweets, sodas and juices. These foods can spike your blood sugar levels and increase your risk of diabetes. Drink more water. Water is the best drink for your health. It helps you stay hydrated, flush out toxins and regulate your body temperature. It can also help you control your appetite and calorie intake by making you feel full. You should drink at least 8 glasses of water per day. You can also drink unsweetened tea or coffee without sugar or cream. You should avoid sugary drinks such as sodas, juices, sport drinks and energy drinks. These drinks can add a lot of calorie and sugar to your diet and increase your risk of diabetes. These are some of the lifestyle changes that can help you lower your ceramides levels and prevent or manage diabetes. However, you should always consult with your doctor before making any changes to your diet or exercise routine. Your doctor can help you assess your risk factors, monitor your blood sugar levels, and prescribe medications or supplements if needed. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about ceramides and diabetes. If you did, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more health related videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.